Ready and joined by uh, Rancho Christian head coach Rochelle Short as the Eagles prevail 3-1 on the road at Calvary Marietta. Rochelle, big week in the South Valley League and two pretty dominating sets to start. Um, wh what do you look to take forward um, into Thursday's showdown with uh, Santa Rosa? Well, we have a game plan. We're executing our game plan. It was a good warm-up for this in this game that we were working on executing our game plan that we have for uh, both teams. Both teams have strong middles, and that's what we're working on and having an answer back for those middles. And um, either defense or and or an offense that we're going to answer back uh, with points in. Um, having, you guys last played on the 23rd in the, uh, was it the Mission Bucks tournament in yes. San Diego. How weird was it having a basically an entire week off from match action in the middle of league play? Yeah, I look at it as a, as a good rest for our team. We go pretty hard for um, since the beginning of August, and so it's really a, it's actually a good timing that they have three days off. And really, I mean, the match play is we still practice, so um, the match play is just a good little break for us, a good little brain rest and um, some physical rest as well too, because they do have a couple days off of practice even. Um, so it's it just like kind of sets the tone for second round as well the way we look at it and they get a little breather in between. Um, looking at the divisional top 10 for you guys this week, you guys were put into the other section for the first time all year. How much was that you think fuel to their fire if they even paid attention to the divisional rankings? They don't pay attention to that. Okay. <laughs> and we don't talk about it. We actually go out there, we work on being uh, getting better every day in practice and then we work on executing our uh, that whatever that game plan is in the in the matches and we take one team at a time and we really focus on what it is that we need to do better. Without giving away your uh, trade secrets for Thursday night, what is one thing um, we should be looking for for the Eagles to be to uh, come out of <laughs> to come out victorious? What is one thing def one thing offensively and one thing defensively we need to see? Defensively, we're going to work on blocking. Defensively, we're going to work on uh, getting double blocks up on every hit. And offensively, we're going to work on um, putting balls away, you know, executing a play, a, a set play with certain people and certain um, rotations. And then also having that, uh, that, that first round, you know, attempt. And if it's not there, then we have that backup second round attempt. So um, just executing and putting balls away, really, and then executing a block. The uh, third set of this match, you guys had the lead all the way pretty much to the end. Um, was was it a matter of not surviving, you know, Calvary starting to do some things differently or are you guys not executing on your side of the net? Well, I put a different lineup out there to try something different. So um, we had to struggle through that a little bit. And not that I was too unfamiliar with anybody, but um, things we've done in practice, but we really put it out there. And, and Calvary's a great team. They have great servers and they have a great, um, a great offense attack. And um, I think just a little, um, not necessarily premature we just didn't mentally focus enough to make sure that our new people in the new positions were um we could handle that on our side okay um coach uh, thank you for joining us good luck on thursday we'll be out there thank you Clear.